Okay, everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video here, I'm just going to lay it all out about software updates, security patches, when it comes to Samsung, when it comes to Pixel. Now, this may trigger some people, but I really don't care, okay? Um, you know, <laughs> this whole deal with software and security patches is really getting old. And really just getting annoying, okay? Which one gets the update faster, okay? Well, Samsung gets it faster. Well, Pixel gets it faster. Well, this and blah, blah, who gives a rip, okay? These phones get monthly updates, okay? Now, I got the Pixel 8 Pro right here. I got the Galaxy S22 Ultra right here. And, you know, yes... You know, the whole feature drop thing for March took a little bit longer. But who really cares? Okay. Uh, someone's like, you know, I got the 24 Ultra and I got the update to my Samsung for March faster than the Pixels does. Just showing how much better the Samsung is at releasing updates and blah, blah, blah. Well... As someone who owns a 22 Ultra, mine didn't get the, the March security patch until after all my Pixels got it, okay? So if your 24, 23 Ultra got it before the pic, your Pixels got it, you're not going to get the update. All updates is going to be different, okay? They're going to release at different times. This one was scheduled, I think, for, what was it, March 11th and something like that. I got all of my updates, like, the next day from the 5A all the way up to the 8 Pro. Now, my Galaxy A54, I think, is still on February. My 22 Ultra was on February. Uh, it got it, like, three or four days after my Pixels got it uh, for March. So... Just because the 24 Ultra, this brand new, got it before this phone or any other Pixel got it, does not mean squat. I mean, so what if Samsung releases an update three or four days sooner than Google? Is it really that important? I mean, is there such a security vulnerability risk? You know, I mean, <laughs> now I will say this. You know, but before I say this, I'm going to say this. They get monthly security patches. And most of them is just patching this, patching that. Nothing really important. Now, when it comes to actual, like if there's, if there's like a known vulnerability, something that needs to be patched right away, I would probably say that Samsung would probably get on the ball a little bit faster than Google would. And would Google even put an update out until the next month, whenever it's due to come out, you know? But they're just monthly security patches, okay? When did it become such a big deal? Okay, a lot of phones, especially if you buy a budget or a mid-range phone, you might get an update every quarter, every six months. Heck, once a year. Uh, you might not get any, depending on what kind of phone you get. And I understand if you're going to pay $1,200, $800, $900, whatever you're paying for these phones, you're expecting to get, you know, timely updates. But as I said before, I would rather an update be a week late and be right than to release an update and have problems and have the problems for a whole other month before they decide to give the next security patch for the next month from Google. Now, this did release, I believe, the first Monday of March internationally. We didn't get it here until like the 11th of March, I want to say it was. But big freaking deal. I mean, you know, all I'm, I'm seeing all this stuff in comments. I'm seeing videos about updates and how Pixel... Or Google is dropping the ball, uh, and they're, you know, you know, there's seven years of support. Well, I really don't believe this. I don't really believe that. Or 
they're already, you know, flopping it up, I guess you would say. Why? Because they released it a few days late. I mean, come on, we we have to be we have to find something better than a stupid security patch. I mean, if we I mean, if we are literally down to fussing over security patches, that's getting pretty bad. I mean, that's really getting pretty bad. I mean, yes. It's nice to go and get the update, get it, you know, get it updated and everything. And, you know, if there's any problems like with Bluetooth or, you know, connection, something like that, whatever, and get it fixed. It's good to go ahead and get that done and get that over with and everything. But my goodness, like I said, with this one, it's two years old. Samsung didn't bother to release it at the same time as the 24 Ultra. Okay. If you got the update on the 24 Ultra. Ultra, it's the early beginning part of the month. Mine didn't get it until after all of my pixels from the 5A up got their updates. If you want to get nitpicky here. So Samsung basically is just kind of like slacking off on their phones that are just two years old. That are still premium phones, that are still flagship phones, that still work very well and are still very relevant. They are slower a phone like this that basically if I held it like this right here you wouldn't know if it was a 24 23 or 22 except for the screen curvature right there did you see <laughs> but I mean this all seriousness does it really matter okay and, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here while I'm at when I, while I'm at it okay if you're gonna buy a phone I'm getting off these flagship phones. If you're going to buy a phone, I'm looking around here. And, uh, because I know I got other phones in here. If you got a phone like this, okay, say like the Moto G Stylus 5G 2023 model, and you get this phone for free at Metro, or you get it for like 40 bucks at Boost, or something like that, or you pay $150 for it unlocked, don't expect to get monthly updates. Or yearly, uh, I mean, or like three or four or five years of OS updates and stuff like that. Everybody, you know, it seems like the one or two people jumps on the whole bandwagon of updates and expects all of these cheap phones to get all these updates when they're just not going to do it because they want you to buy the next version when it comes out. Okay. They'll give you a few security patches, they may give you one OS update. And then they want you to buy the newest version of that phone the next year it releases because they're so cheap. Okay. But one or two people gets on the bandwagon. It becomes a viral thing. And then all of a sudden, everybody under the sun is, you know, they come to your channel or this channel or that channel and they complain about this phone not getting updates, this phone not getting updates. Well, if you want updates on the spot every single month, Right on time, which I'm sorry. Sometimes there's going to be a delay in updates. That's just the way it is. That's just the way the wor way of the world is. That's just how it goes. You're not going to always get the update on the promised day that's going to be released. So might as well get over it. It's just the only way I can put it. There's no other way to sugarcoat it because I don't sugarcoat things. If you don't like it, then this is the wrong channel. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you the way I think. My personal opinion. And I think it's just kind of ridiculous that it's got to the point that we're worried about updates. And if the Pixel gets there a day later than Samsung, who gives a rip? Okay, the world ain't going to end because Samsung gets an update a day earlier or a day later than Google. Who cares? So I'm going to end it off here. Because it gets getting on my nerves and we kind of need to just get over the whole fact that it's not that daggum important and you get the update when you get the freaking update. That's just the way I look at it. I mean, I, like I said earlier, I prefer the update to be right and get it a week later than to get it a week earlier and have bugs. That goes for Samsung, Motorola, OnePlus, Google Pixel, any of them. You get the update. Anyway, I'm out. I know this won't get me likes, many comments. I'll probably get some backlash, but you know what? I don't care.
because it's facts. If you want to see them as facts or see it as my opinion, I don't care, whatever. It's all good. I just really wasn't helpful that much. You know, I ran it a little bit, which, hey, sometimes you got to. Um, if it was helpful, hit the like button. Any questions or comments, leave them below. I'm sure I'll get some. If you're new here, not a subscriber, and you like these non-sugar-coated videos, if you want, you know, my personal honest opinion, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, I'm out. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.